Welcome back to another episode of Super Mega Baseball 4. Ladies and gentlemen, let's play ball. It's a special episode, special the ball game. game. The atmosphere is electric here at Ciudad de Colores. Who's ready for some dingers? Welcome to Striking Out Cancer Night, or day rather, here at the home ballpark. Slight alteration to the home unis to exchange the white for pink. And Ruby Farrell will hopefully be doing the one, be the one rather, doing the striking out. She fires one in there. Ball game's underway with a 1-0 count. Farrell gets a foul. Now it's a ball and a strike on the ground, and that's going to be the first hit of the day for Hoboken. As the Haulers getting something going here, top of inning number one. Smoke Gomez. Smoke Gomez in the two hole, and Farrell sets up with the double play in order. Finley Chase behind the dish again today. Runner goes. The throw by Finley is not in time. That's going to be a steal of second base. Are in scoring position. The 0 1 not there. One ball, one strike. The lefty on the ground. Should be an easy play across. We'll get one. Runner will stay at second. Charlie Hunt will step in now and try to see what he can do with that runner in scoring position. Top of the first as Ruby checks on the runner who gets back. Not quite there, so... Runner goes the throw by Finley this time. Not going to do it again, and that's a runner at third as Charlie gets a hold of that. It's knocked down. The throw is not in time. Well, they've got a pickle of some description going on about the place. And the pickle takes care of the runner, I believe, at third. Bash Bassinet will step in runner at first. And that is indeed the Kings. Two gone. Ruby trying to get out of it. One strike and nothing on the ground. That should do it. The throw to first is in time. And so, tight roping out of danger in the first as Ruby Farrell will send the offense up for the Pelicans. Not the pink brims of the hats. The pink sash of the jersey. As Heel Mitchell will lead things off get a hold of that to left field that's going to head back a ways but get caught out there and left one up one down for the Pelicans in the first Here comes Nico Sportsman he's made a few good plays at first and he gets a hold of that down the line but it's foul nothing in one gets a hold of that one on the ground that'll sneak through Nico Sportsman with a single First baseman at first, and we'll move along. Here's Kareem Park. Let's see what he can do with a runner on and an out here. Bottom half of inning number one, still no score. Park is in a 1-1 count. And that's on the ground. That'll get through Kareem Park down the line. And they're going to be maybe at the corners. Yes, they will be at the corners. Well, here comes Trouble Princess. Precious had a huge home run to keep the Pelicans in last night's ball game. And gets a hold of that down the line, but foul. Nothing in one. Gets a hold of it again, but now it's two strikes and nothing. And the Princess putting up a battle. 0-2. On the ground. Foul. She's trying to stay hot. Swinging and got a piece. Another 0-2. No dice. Ball and two strikes. She swings and misses. So the slump might be back to continuing for Princess. Here comes Finley Chase. She's got a chance to get something rolling here. Two gone for her. Runners at the corners. Swing and miss. Ball and a strike to Finley. The 19-year-old catcher swings and misses. Two with two gone, and that's going to be it. Finley breaks the bat, and that'll do it. One inning complete. Nobody able to crack the score column, despite both clubs having something good going. Here's Regan. 
Dig in against Ruby. That's a strike. Need a first strikeout in this striking out cancer ball game. And 0-2 from Ruby's not going to do it. Here comes the 1-2. Finley sets up, gets a piece. Does Regan will do it again. And two balls and two strikes. Here comes Farrell, gets a piece there. Stays alive. There it is. We've got our first one. We should come up with something to do for that. Maybe next time I'll set something up, I'll donate somewhere. I just like the idea of having nights that are themed a little bit. Give this series a little storyline. As that's on the ground, the throw from the second base part of the field is good. Mila Shipwright, who we had briefly on this ball club towards the end of last season, will stand in against Farrell, who winds, kicks, and delivers. That's in there, so Shipwright behind 0-1. Now it's even. Finley sets up. A strike makes the count one and two. Here comes Ruby on the ground. That bonks off of Ruby, who throws her out anyway. And that'll do her for the top of the second. All right, we'll move on. Home half. Just going to crack the score column here. Here comes Molly. She's out and right again, so Finley can get another game behind the dish. She'll take one in the zone. Will Molly? It's 0-1. Upstairs, gets a piece of it, foul. Excuse me, I'm yawning. It's only 11 a.m., you know, you think I'd be awake by now, but uh, Molly's gonna be thrown out on the ground ball. Well, Kai Thrustmaster, last time Kai was up in the box, big things happened with the baseball, and the ball game in the day was won. 0-2 count now on the third baseman. We'll take one low. As the 1-2 is fouled away. Kai trying to do something. And something is done, but that's not much. A foul ball. Two balls, two strikes. Patience here from the youngster as they swing and a miss. We'll end the at-bat there. Strike out. Here comes Sophia, the bat. Kind of matching the rest of the getup here today with the pink unis. The blue standing out a little bit. And Sophia looking to get out of a bit of a slump. And she gets a hold of that and it's going to get through. So Coffee is aboard with a single. Here comes Ruby. Let's we'll see what she's got in store with Sophia at first. Two gone here in the inning. The pitch to Ruby is there. A strike. Farrell, 1-1, one, one, gets a hold of it, and what a defensive play to rob a hit away from Ruby Farrell. That'll end the second, move to the third. Goose eggs all around. Third baseman, number two, Quinn Curtis. Here's Curtis. Farrell trying to keep it right where it is. First pitch is upstairs to Curtis, 1-0. On the ground and foul will even things up one apiece. And Ruby not able to find the zone over the few. It's 3-1 now, ball four. A rare walk for Ruby Farrell. That'll put the go-ahead run aboard. And here's Arlo, the starter. Double play sets up for him, likely bunting here. And indeed he is the... Out in the sacrifice, no problem. Here's Oliver Homebrew. Captain of the out here, outfield rather, here for Hoboken. First pitch strike to Oliver, it's 0-1. Ruby trying to uh, eliminate the threat runner at first. 1-1 is there for a strike, so Homebrew. Couple strikes on him. That's to right field getting down and getting down in a big way. That's runners at the corners here for the Haulers. Here comes Smoke Gomez. He's got something to say as he steps in the box. Ruby kind of looks in at Finley like, don't do anything crazy here. You're young. Don't, uh, don't get a fine from the league or anything like that. Just let him do what he's going to do. 
Oh, one from Ruby's upstairs. Just get the out the only way you know how. That's a strike. Ball in. Two strikes. Checks on the runner. Does Ruby runner is back? First and third. Not quite going to do it. Two balls, two strikes. Check on the runner again. Crowd. A couple of wave fans starting to boo a little. Runner goes. The foul. We'll keep the app at the same. And with two gone, runners are moving. And that is trouble. Left field. That's going to go back a ways. Potentially playable, though, and it will be. The runner from third's going to tag, and Hoboken takes a 1 0 lead. And Charlie Hunt will step in. 1 0 Hoboken. Two gone now. And it's not 1 0 anymore. That's a long home run. Puts couple on the board and that's now what you want to see Ruby shaking her head Finley going out there to talk for a moment it's a three nothing game Bash Bassinet will step in Finley heads back behind the dish Ruby stays out there but two outs gets a first pitch strike 0-1 is inside on the ground and foul, so it's one ball and two strikes. Get out of it here, Ruby, and not going to happen there. 2-2 two -two with two outs is on the ground. Third base way. The throw across the diamond will do it. Not before Hoboken. Strike for three and now lead it by three. It's bottom of inning number three, and it's 3 nothing. Back to the top of the Pelican order, and Heel Mitchell to start things off. It's apparently there. I don't know if I buy it. Mitchell pops it up right field way. And he's caught out easily. One up, one down for Nico Sportsman. Nobody on board for him as he tries to get a rally started with a strike. Inside on Nico, one and one. Swing and a miss. He wanted it, didn't get it. Ball and two strikes on the first baseman for Pine City. Gets a hold of it. That's going to sneak through. Hopping and jumping. And Nico will be aboard. Kareem Park will step in with a runner at first. Trying to get one back. If he can, it's upstairs on him. Park ahead, now even up. One ball, one strike. He gets a hold of it, and that's going to be a, maybe a double play. No, a single play. So two are gone for Princess Precious. And you really want to see her try to get something back. And she can do it. She's ahead 1-0 here. She's just struggled this year. But she's ahead here, three and nothing. You'd think she'd have the green light. Now three balls and a strike. That's there as well. So three, two. Runner goes, Princess on the ground. And that likely to end the inning. And it will not. Thrown wildly. And a run scores, I think. Finley Chase will step in. So the Pelicans catch a big break. Can Chase make them pay more? Not if you're behind 0-2. It's going to be tough. The youngster takes one outside. One ball, two strikes. Gets a hold of it. Fouls it away. She'll see another one. And on the ground, the throw across is in time. That'll end the inning, but the Pelicans do strike for a run. We'll move to the fourth. It's 3-1 to one in favor of Hoboken. Number 33. Here comes Regan and Ruby trying to settle in a little bit. First pitch is there for a strike and popped up to right. And no problem out there for Molly. Easy catch. Isla Chapman. We know her. 
I don't know why I didn't hear that before unless they made a substitution. As Isla gets a hold of it, fouls it away. She was kind of back up for Molly, but with the acquisition of Finley Chase this offseason as Isla is going to have a non-hit. I thought that was going to be safe. She's slow, apparently. Um, but with the acquisition of Finley Chase, kind of freed up that spot. And we sent Isla Chapman packing and uh, Mila Shipwright grounds on the first pinch. The throw is going to get her. And the inning comes to a close, so a chance for that momentum to start to shift as Ruby is able to put up a zero. Here comes Molly to lead things off. See what she's got going on as the at-bat starts off with a ball. Molly gets a hold of that right center field. That ball's going back, and that's gone! Molly O'Connor goes the other way to right. And the Pelicans within a run. Solo shot for Molly O'Connor. And this crowd starting to get back into it. Here comes Kai Thrustmaster. Seeing some fan love as the first pitch. Good defensive play robs a hit from Kai. Here's Sophia. All right, hype music dies down. Sophia, first pitch, takes a strike. And a 1-1 count now to the Pelican shortstop as she sizzles one foul. Swing and a miss. Sophia strikes out. Here comes Ruby. See if she'll bat for herself here. You start to go to the pen, and Ruby will bat. Two gone. Nobody aboard. She gets a hold of one, and Ruby Farrell knocks a single in the left field, and the inning will continue. Hill Mitchell. We've seen some of that patience diminished in these last few at bats. Bentley Guns is going to come on in relief to face Mitchell. First pitch from Guns is outside a ball. That's a strike, so one in one to. The Walkman, who gets a hold of it, sends it on back to a board here for the Pelicans, trying to get something rolling. Runner in scoring position now at second base. Here comes Nico Sportsman. We're going to plug in the old controller after I throw everything on the floor. And now we're cooking with peanut oil. All right. Nico gets a hold of it. Throw from Shorts going to end the inning. Trying to get something going, and they did with a one-run home run. That solo shot for Molly O'Connor. It's 3-2. Twin, Twin Curtis set to lead things off against Ruby. Has come back out for another half-inning of work as she fires the first one to Finley, and that's a strike. Swing and a miss. Looking for another K for Cancer, and she's got it. Ruby Farrell, look it on form to start the inning. There comes Bentley Guns. They did get the out last inning, so I was wondering if they'd pass the baton, but they will not. First pitch is a strike to Guns. Second pitch popped up a long way, and that's going to get into the crowd for a keeper. And two strikeouts in the inning. The throw completes it, and look at Ruby go. Oliver Homebrew steps in. Farrell fires one in there, and that's hit to right field towards the corner. It's just going to get down out there. A funky single. How about it? The right fielder, number 13. Smoke Gomez. Smoke Gomez. Something to say again. Gomez fired up for some reason. See if we can get you more on that. After this at bat, a 1 1 on the way from Ruby Farrell. Gets the knock foul, so it's 1 2. Trying to get the third strike out of this inning. Not going to get it on that one. The check on the runner. Ruby looks to Finley. Finley gets the sign on the ground and that's thrown across the diamond and in time 
Ruby Farrell gets out of more trouble. Bottom half of inning number five. Pelicans trail by a run. Here comes Kareem Park. Chance to get a rally started here for Pine City in the fifth. Gets a hold of it. Fouls it. Two in a row. He's behind 0-2. Inside a ball. Park. Gets a hold of another one. Putting up a fight here. Outside. Just gets another one. Two balls, two strikes. Kareem Park gets a hold of it and just lines it into a glove. Hope for good things and sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Here comes the Princess. You know, had that home run in yesterday's game and has since cooled down dramatically as she sends one foul. And that one she gets a hold of. Center field way, that's going back and she, see this is the luck. She just gets caught out again. Here's Finley Chase. Couple outs in the inning for her. Jackson Bale. Jackson Bale will step in for Finley. Who do you put in at the catching position then? Don't tell me it's in. And Bale swings at a couple, misses a couple. Just low. One, two on Jackson Bale who takes. Two balls, two strikes, and he gets a hold of one. That'll hop and skip around, but not escape the infield. And Bale... And the Pelicans thrown out in the fifth. We'll move on to inning number six. It's a one-run lead thus far, and it stayed that way. Here comes Charlie Hunt. Ruby's sticking out there. She's given up a few, but gets another strike. Charlie gets a hold of that one, lines it. The throw across is good from second, and Charlie's gone. Bash, Bassinet, next to do battle against number one. Except it'll be Clark taking over and his first offering out of the pen. The righty moves behind 1-0, now 2-0. Clark looks to Finley. These two haven't worked together much. So a 2-1 is not there. A lot of pitching inside here for Lorenzo as he gets another strike. 3-2 now. And skipping through, that'll be a base hit. Runner aboard to start it off for Lorenzo Clark. Here comes Regan. Trying to get something started. Double play is set up for Lorenzo. That's a strike and a good one. This crowd loving to see Clark do his thing. Well, disappointment there, but a 1-1. Not there again. He's pitching inside quite a bit to start this outing. And he's not hitting his spots. A 3-1 is there. A 3-2 is not. And so Lorenzo putting himself in danger here. Isla Chapman will step in. She might have something to say. A couple of runners on. Big first pitch strike followed up by a second pitch strike. And this is looking like our guy. Not able to get it there. One ball, two strikes. No, apparently, says the umpire. 2-2. Two -two. And that's hit to right going back. That could be trouble, but playable, but caught. And so everybody will stay put on the base paths, which is what you want to see. Mila Shipwright. Get ready to dig in. Brittany Roten. Brittany Roten will take things over. A couple outs for her. First pitch on the ground. This should do it. Brittany gets one pitch, gets out of trouble. And we'll move to the bottom of inning number six. Still a chance to get back into this thing. And uh, you want to see it. Here comes Molly who hit a knock out of here last time up. There's Hicks coming on to pitch. The lefty. I do apologize. There is a train that's going to get very loud as a 2-0 count to Molly. Could yield good things. 2-1. Molly is going to take it. 
That's not there. It is there, rather. 3-2 is hit to center field. And that'll get down. Molly is aboard. Second hit in a row for O'Connor. Here comes Kai. Going to be replaced here by Dean Robinson as the Pelicans want to get something going. A first pitch strike to Dean will make the count 0-1 on the youngster who pops it up. Foul. Nothing in two. Not where you want to be, and he strikes out in three pitches off the bench. Not a good look. Here comes Sophia. See what she can do. All right. And out for Runner at first. Gonna try to do something with it. Sophia says, I'll try my best, but she's behind 0-2. And the 0-2 is swung on and missed. So second batter in a row set down on strikes to gone. So leadoff single and then nothing from it. Here comes Brittany Roten. Be replaced by Nick Jackman. The man, the myth, the legend. You know him, I know him, everybody knows him. And he pops it up, not really contributing to the whole legend thing here, my friend, as he is easily caught out on a one-pitch pop-up. And we're going to see Ben Hernandez uh, come on to pitch the seventh, trying to keep us in this ball game with a chance to head to the bottom half, just down by one. Twin Curtis will start things off, and Ben Hernandez off the hill delivers a first-pitch strike. Hernandez has been a pretty solid reliever. Two strikes in a hurry, and now it's one and two. Swing and a miss. Another strike out for Cancer, and Ben starting off hot. Here comes Al Hicks, and I think they go to the bench here, but they will not as Hernandez fires. Just outside and high. 2-0. Foul away, 2-1 now. Ben, it's another foul. Two balls, two strikes, a strike away from another K, and he's not going to have it on that one. Three balls and two strikes, the count. That's ball four. So Ben issues the walk. Oliver Home Brew will step in, try to see what he can do against Hernandez. Ben's got double play in order for him, and the broken bat. Replaced in record time by the Bat Boy. An 0 2 count here. Benny fires and not there. Ball and two strikes. Not close on that. So he's struggling a little bit to find that zone. That's hit to left center field. That's going to go back a ways but be playable and caught. Runner heads back to first base. Now there's two gone. Which is exactly what you want to see. Here comes Smoke Gomez jawing at Ben Hernandez ignores him looks to Finley and fires that's a wild pitch runners gonna go to second and have it easily so now the runner in scoring position is Ben so someone new is catching actually it's not Finley I forgot and that's probably why that happened swing a mess Ben Hernandez despite the new catcher sends the Pelicans to the bottom of the seventh with a chance to do something down by one Heel Mitchell, lead things off, three outs, one run. Don't go anywhere, folks, first pitch to Heel. And it's upstairs. So a couple straight outside the zone. Mitchell says no sweat there, a strike, so 2-1. And he gets a hold of it, pops it up, easy out for the catcher. Heel's retired, not what you want to see. So Nico Sportsman has been moved to the catcher position. See what he can do with a runner in the inning. Or excuse me, an out in the inning. No runners aboard for him. Too low. Swing and a miss. Nico behind one and two. Outside. Two balls, two strikes. That's a strikeout. Last out here for the Pelicans. Now what you want to see on this day. Here's Kareem Park. What can he do with two gone? That is the question. One Oda Park. Swung on. He gets a hold of it. It is sent to center. That's going to be a base hit. That will put 
the tying run on base two gone for Princess well she could advance the plot here in a big way if she can get a hold of one too low she'll move ahead 1-0 and she gets a hold of that that's through Princess Precious with a knock and there are two aboard now the baton being passed late here bottom seven still one out to go Jackson Bale will step in Livingston will pitch here to Bale first pitch strike there to Jackson not there so one and one on the youngster Jackson Bale who gets a hold of one down the line foul and the final strike for the Pelicans a 2-2 count Jackson Bale here it is upstairs and ball four Jackson Bale charts to first for Molly who's having a ball game bases loaded two are out here we go Molly O'Connor strike oh one is Molly gets a hold of it right center field that ball is going back grand slam ball game Molly O'Connor a walk off grand slam home run and that'll do it the Pelicans walk off the haulers in the bottom of the seventh for the second straight game we win it at the last moment final score looks more decisive than it was a 6-3 score six runs on 11 hits and no errors in the game for the Pelicans three runs on five hits and one in the game for Hoboken here's a number at the big old looks <laughs> I'm sticking with it for those of you who are interested in that sort of thing pitching wise let's see what we got so Ben Hernandez collects the late win he didn't pitch much for us in inning and uh, he did have one walk and two strikeouts good outing Ruby really didn't do too badly went five and a third gave up four hits three runs one walk three strikeouts five total strikeouts in the ball game for striking out cancer night we get a look at the MVPs in this one and unfortunately uh, it looks like not many of them are ours <laughs> Molly O'Connor obviously takes the first spot and she is our only uh, only one let's see how she did let's just take a look at this here Miss Molly three for four two homers five RBIs and two runs scored fantastic performance there from Miss O'Connor love to see it and we've got a manager moment to contend with so let's do that the media is asking who you thought uh, should have stayed home in today's game hmm who do you throw into the bus that is a good question. Is it Finley who got subbed out, or is it Kai Thrustmaster? I think on this one I gotta go Kai. Um, didn't really do a whole lot for us in that one, but what can you do? You can't do everything every game. So, another win, and that one sets the Pine City Pelicans atop the division here. We'd love to see a loss there, and it's not gonna happen as... Um, Louisiana is just hot on our tails here. So, man, so we're on fire. We're off to a really solid start, not necessarily in the ways you'd want to be. We've gotten some wins that have been uh, escape worthy, I suppose. And we're going to play Hoboken again. Rare to see a two game set uh, in this series, but. We're going to do it, and uh, it'll be a good one. But before we get you any on that, we're going to get you some on this, and that's the fact that we are broke. Okay, well, that solves that problem. Look at this next ball game, by the way. They are 2-6. and six. We are 6-2. and two. We are apparently still power hitters. We will send to the hill the gal of the hour, Lily Rocket. And she, this year, has no record in ERA that looks a little worse than her wear, 476. 
Opposing Lily, a dangerous arm in the form of Marcy Mashington. Good velo, really good junk. Not a lot of accuracy. You got the elite slider and the uh, consistent trait. 0-1 record thus far with a 4.68 ERA. So the teams, in terms of ERA for pitching, uh, close match. We'll have that much more for you as we continue this homestand and this series. If you have any questions, comments, queries, theories, concerns, water slide placement ideas, or anything else, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section down below. We'll see you as we play the second of this two game set against the Hoboken Haulers in this series here in Super Mega Baseball 4. Peace!